Incoming 20. Good, sir. Good luck. Thanks. Release in three, two, one. Hey, Ethan. Uh, you know that this view is one of my favorite things about being a pilot. Thought you weren't going to be on station until later today. You know better than anyone that flying faster than regulation speed is one of my favorite things. True. So who do I need to get fired for letting you in comms? That information is classified. But I've got an appointment with her when we get back from our mission. One of the benefits of being a famous pilot? Yeah, yeah, yeah. By the way, here's your flight plan. Where do you see the alien ship with your own eyes? The vids they've been showing? Don't do it justice. Whoa. How big is this thing? It's big. Watch out for secondaries from the alien vessel. Their activity back and forth from the surface has been increasing. CNC is still trying to figure out why. Copy that. Starting my... Whoa. Watching. Could you do me a personal favor? Straighten out your shuttle and try not to hit the large alien ship. So I haven't got the wedding announcement yet. Getting cold feet or uh, finally wising up? Hey, lay off, Ethan. Not all of us want to be celebrity swingers. Yeah, yeah. This way, sir. So I told them that military clearance or not, I'm not leaving here until we get to talk. This way, sir. This way, sir. This way, sir. Hey, little brother. What took you so long? Ethan. I hope you're thirsty. Why? Because you're dumb and ugly. But I can do something about thirsty. So, what do you have? I need something fresh. Something with flavor. A good flavor? Or just a strong flavor? Good and strong. Just good. 
We're both designated drivers. I can't believe they held up the mission for me. No, they didn't. It took three days to do a complete language dump. A what? They have a computer that translates, so we sent them everything ever written in our language so it could learn. Everything? Doesn't that tell them dangerous things? Like our level of technology? Their technology is so far ahead of ours, it doesn't matter. If they want to destroy us, we can't stop them. So what about us? Do we get to go aboard the alien ship? They better not try to keep us off the first alien ship to visit Edimea. Unless the legends are true, and Adagio really was destroyed by aliens. There was never a planet called Adagio, so we're not from it. Good job. Not much dribbling. It's nice to drink something that wasn't generated from sewage. What do you think all those fresh fruits grow in? Oh, excuse me. I thought you were some other war hero, suck up, brother. I think he wants a fight. Yeah? Let's see what you got. Gideon, the co-pilot of the first alien contact party, can't go starting a barroom brawl. You are sure about that? <laughs> yeah. That's the pilot's job. Kick him while he's down! <laughs> Gideon Wyeth, what are you doing? Olivia! I'm helping some Marines with their combat training. You're getting your uniform all dirty. These guys keep rubbing their blood all over it. This has gone on long enough. Now they're getting my clothes dirty. Excuse me, Mom, but I can't kill him if you're in the way. Um... Excuse me, then. I'll move. You see, Gideon, you just have to know how to talk to them. Did I hurt you? Good. You're both so stupid. Getting into a fight when you're on the verge of the most important mission in history. You're due for pre-flight briefing in 10 minutes. But were you coming to look for your fiancé? No. You were making kissy-kissy with a bunch of Marines. That doesn't mean I love you any less, Olivia. Yeah, well, he did it for you. Oh? What? One of them insulted me? They didn't mention you. Naturally, you had to beat him up. <laughs> I'm still mad at you. When you finish your briefing, I'll be in my lab. I've got a couple of things to do before the briefing. I'll meet you at mission prep. Remember to keep all of the new This way, sir. Ouch, Dixie! It looks like a busy area up down there. This way, sir. Captain Wyeth, your brother isn't in the briefing room yet, and I was told to give you a quick refresher on sidearms use. I've already been trained. You've been trained in hand-to-hand -hand combat, too, but it looks like you forgot. A lot. Now we do some basic site coordination. I know, I know, it's big stuff. But I gotta check you off under immediate test before we can move on to anything dangerous. Or fun. Okay, Captain. I need to calibrate the range to your weapon sight. Please target each of the colored lights as they appear. Perfect. 
As the colored lights appear, Captain, I'm going to need you to fire at the corresponding enemy hologram. You see the red light? Fire the red guy? Yada, yada, yada. Uh, you can't figure this one out. You'll be required to wear a helmet at dinner. Thank you for the visit, Captain. It's been a real treat. It sounds like your presence is requested down in the tactical combat training room, sir. Please move to the open elevator to proceed to the TCT room. Welcome to the Lurian Sky Station Holographic Tactical Combat Training Room. Here you'll be confronted with enemy combatant sin, sequenced along urban combat protocol vectors. They'll be using live ammo, Captain, so please take the time to familiarize yourself with the medical stations located around the arena. They'll provide you with a burst of type 4 nano thus saving us the costly waste of resuscitation or funeral expenses. Please proceed through either of the apertures and arm yourself with the provided weapons to begin your training. The doors will open momentarily. Combat exercise. 
Your weapons will be replaced with synaptic stun pistols on a lower set, but there is still a chance of injury in this scenario. So please use caution and restraint. But also be aware that you'll be sorely mocked for anything less than victory. Hey, little brother. The other team is now set up, Captain Wyatt. And if I'm not mistaken, your esteemed brother just entered. Welcome, sir. It's an honor just to have you here. Will you be joining your brother... I mean, the captain for the next round? Yeah. Very well, sir. Please, arm yourself with a stunner and enter the arena. Gideon. The game was rigged! It's always rigged against grunts like us, bud. Get used to it. Maybe there's a reason I'm an officer and you're not. I'm sick of emos like you showing no respect for the soldiers that do all the grunt work! Hey, lose the pistol! This isn't the time, bud! We've called the medical officer, and the MPs. You didn't have to kill him. Your friend was shooting to kill. You didn't want him dead, why didn't you stun him? You did the right thing, Gideon. This guy was gonna keep coming after you. He's dead. We've already reviewed the session vids. Clear case of self-defense. He picked a fight with Bud in a bar. We saw the vids. We know who had it in for who. Now get out of here if you don't want to get arrested yourself.
Attention. You can come in now, Ambassador Landwell. Thank you, Major. My men will have this under control, but we don't know what to expect. I want you properly armed. This is the Haze Blaster. It's still in prototype, but these have been tested and they work. If things go wrong, our assignment is to protect the Ambassador. Your assignment is to return to the ship and get it ready for takeoff. Shubez Kovane, Dizbek Mazan. Agak Bazis. Here, you put it in your ear. You're expendable. Thanks. Gideon used to put shiny things in his ear when he was a baby, too. Ah, uh, ah, okay, that doesn't feel good. It's taking root. Does it what's it say? Now, do you understand me? Yes, I do. What's she saying? It's the universal translator. It's painless. Sisters and brothers, prepare yourselves. What we have searched for so long, we now will see. Please, beg the glorious human visitors to enter. We've searched a long time. Many lifetimes our people have looked for you. Glorious humans, survivors. Kalem, you are proven right, though I doubt it. These appear to be humans. Please, don't kneel to us. It's wrong. We came in hope to save you from the Seekers, but we failed. The Seekers? Those who destroyed your ancient homeworld. We thought our voyage was secret, but as soon as we received your broadcast signals, someone on our ship sent a message capsule. Now, they will come, and this time, they will leave no survivors. How long do we have? Maybe two days. Probably less. Two days? What can we do in two days? This is a great tragedy. You will all be killed. What kind of weapons will they be using? They throw rocks. Rocks? They throw rocks? Asteroids. If there's nothing we can do, then why did you come? Gideon, you're not the ambassador. If there's nothing we can do, then why did you come? The Aurelian people are ashamed to have brought such calamity upon glorious humans. We pray to all the gods that some of you survive. How? How will we survive? I promise all that we can do to help human survivors, we will do. On the whole, I'd say that went pretty well. Apart from finding out that the human race is doomed, Everybody was polite, and they were really apologetic about getting us all wiped out. We're not wiped out yet. We have weapons. Our ships have the power to blast small asteroids out of the way. That's better than nothing. It is nothing. Look, we're not going down without a fight. May all 
your enemies lose their way. It will be a great victory if any humans survive. much for two days. Time to abandon the ship! No way! They're blowing up the escape capsules anyway. We might as well just stick with the ship. We're a big fat target and half the maneuvering rockets aren't responding. So it'll be an ugly landing. You're the expert on ugly landings. You take us in. Are you all right? I have a heartbeat. And my right knee won't hold me. I've got you. Come on. That was the lousiest landing I've ever seen. What difference will it make if we get the ambassador safely back? already figured out we're under attack? I guess they won't understand how completely hopeless it all is until we get there. No, I think the hopelessness is pretty clear. Keep moving. Give me your weapon. That's your plan? Give the gun to the cripple? Look, I'm a better shot. You're too busy helping me walk. Someday you're gonna trust me. What the? Come on, let's move. think we're gonna get out of there alive. The floor's been blown out. We've gotta climb down. It's a good thing your leg's not useless. Otherwise, this would be really difficult.
need get to get to the escape, escape pods. pods. Hurry, sir. What are these things? I don't know, Coffin. Just keep them out of here. Then I guess you're in on our fight. Oh, sorry. Can you use that thing. Then I guess you're in on our fight. Can you use that thing. Get back! Keep back! Die, you bastard! Take that! 
Egan, is Olivia still down in the Science Center? They're scanning everybody! They're taking most of the scientists! But Olivia, is she... I haven't seen her. But if she's there, she's in trouble. Are there any escape pods left? Lots. Go for it.
Hey, gorgeous. You shouldn't have come back for me. We'll never make it to the escape pods from here. Don't worry. Ethan is holding one for us. Into that room. Where are the soldiers I left here? I killed them. Why don't you little worms give up and die? And miss the chance to kill monsters like you? Yes. I'm a monster. The only question now is, do I kill you quickly, or do I pull you apart with my bare hands? <laughs> 